everybody, it's Yaki. I hope everyone is doing well and getting outside and managing their time well and trying new things and keeping themselves occupied. Today we are going to be painting some terracotta pots such as this one, a little planter pot that you would put a plant in. Yeah, and <laughs> I have three of these that I'm going to paint. I found them in my basement, which is fantastic because that means I don't have to get any supplies. I have everything that I need right here. And I was already thinking about doing this because I saw some very inspiring posts on a few different social media platforms of people painting um, flowering, flowering pots. And I was inspired by that and the kind of style that people were going for. I don't want you to think that I'm copying anybody. I would put like my inspirations up but I don't know if people would actually want me putting their like accounts up on my channel, you know. I'm not really sure, but I'm not gonna be looking at anybody's art and copying it or anything. I was just inspired by the style, kind of. And um, I don't have actually any plan going into this. I have a few design elements that I'm wanting to incorporate into it. Mostly being that I want this color to show as the background. I'm not going to paint over it, except for one of them I am going to paint over because it has a whole bunch of stains and stuff from being in the basement for probably years. So yeah, one of them I'm going to paint over, but the other two I'm going to leave this color in the background and I'm just going to paint over it with very vibrant, bright colors that are just happy and springy and summery and beautiful. And I'm just trying to go for patterns that are colorful and wonderful and beautiful. And other than that, I have absolutely no plan. I'm just going to start and see where it goes. I have a little catnip plant that I need to put in a pot soon because it is starting to get a little bit fruit bound and he is not the happiest, but he will be happy to have a container to live in. So that is also an influencing factor in me wanting to do this project. So let's get started then. For my first flower pot, I just went in and started painting these big colorful paint splotches all over it. And I think it's kind of funny, it turned out looking like rainbow cow print, but I'm not really mad at that. I actually quite like the way it looks. Like I said, I didn't have any distinct ideas going into this. I just kind of painted what came to mind. Next up, I'm adding some very 60s, 70s style flower pot or daisies and I've been really liking the look of like very cartoon flower designs recently so I think this was also a very cute addition. Next I painted on this big rainbow that loops around the whole flower pot because I kind of wanted to have a continuing design and I love rainbows so of course it's a rainbow. I just really wanted this flower pot to be a big rainbow brightly colored mess just like me and I think it turned out that way. At this point, my cat Bimo decided to make his guest appearance in my video because he knows he's the star. I had a really difficult time keeping him out of these flower pots while I was painting, so you'll see him come up a few times during the time lapse. The 
the last thing I added after the rainbow were these tiny little flowers. I just wanted to continue the design a little bit and fill up some more space before I finished. The second flower pot that I painted was actually a commission for a gift and the only idea that I got from the person who commissioned me is that they liked peacock feathers so I just kind of took that in an abstract sense and tried to use peacock colors meaning more cool purple and green and blue tones and I know that's not exactly peacock colors but that's kind of what came to mind when I thought of peacock without actually doing actual peacock feathers. I also tried to incorporate very um, soft smooth rounded shapes because that also communicated the idea of peacock feathers to me though I am not really sure in the end if you can tell that peacock was where the original idea came from but I still like the way it turned out and the person who commissioned me to make it also liked the way it turned out so that's really what matters I guess. Actually when it's done it kind of reminds me of a mountain range which I think is really neat. Because this is a commission, I'm not going to have it for my final reveal when I show you all of the pots that I've painted, um, just because I've already given it to the person who commissioned it from me. My third and final pot, again, didn't have any real idea going into it of what I wanted it to look like when I was finished. I just kind of thought tiger stripes and contour lines and ripples and that sort of thing. This one actually is a Mother's Day gift for my mom and I ended up planting a little chamomile plant in it and I hope that she likes it. Um, I based the colors that I used off of the colors that I know she likes and the design is just very simple and abstract. thing is though I hope that none of the supplies that I use to decorate these pots will be harmful to the plants that I put in them. That would really suck. I mostly used acrylic paint to decorate and uh, for some parts I used ink, like actually um, calligraphy ink that's shimmery and then I used Mod Podge sealer spray on top of all of that. And I am really hoping that none of that is toxic to plants because that would kind of ruin the whole purpose of me making this, but it'll be okay.
so these are my babies all repotted this is the chamomile plant and this is the catnip plant and the chamomile plant is looking all sad um, but I'm hoping well it looks like it's gonna rain today and I'm hoping that he will perk up a little bit before I am able to give it to my mom for Mother's Day and this guy seems to be doing pretty well actually and these are the pots all finished and sealed and pretty and fantastic and I think they look really good um, sorry it's kind of gloomy out today so I'm not getting the best lighting for this but I think that they're really pretty I am just really hoping that this guy is gonna perk up a little bit I've been murmuring encouraging words into his ears <laughs> so we'll just have to keep an eye on him but yeah this one's been attracting the neighborhood cats which may have been my secret plan all along of course this one would be my favorite this is the one i made for myself it's rainbowy and bright and beautiful but i really like the way this one turned out too and i think that it's more of my mom's style so yeah that's what they look like in their natural habitat Hi again! Thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate all of you who take the time out of your day to come to my channel and pay me a little visit. I really appreciate you. Thank you so much. I hope everybody has a good day. I am going to try to have a good day myself. Bye!